Hello everybody, my name is Shem McQuillan, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm going to start today's vlog a little differently and I'm going to try some apple cider vinegar because it's meant to be really good for you but I've heard it's... Tastes like this. Yeah, it doesn't smell great. <laughs> it smells like pure vinegar. And I'm kind of nervous but yeah, I just yeah, thought I'd vlog it because why not, you know? So it says take like one to two teaspoons full. Oh, that was more than I meant. Okay, so I said that's like one teaspoon full. No, it says more than one. That'll do you. Yeah, that, that'll be enough for that, I think. Jesus. And then some cold water. I'm out of cold water. <laughs> I think I'll have a lot of waters. Is it coldness? How much water? I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. I'm so scared. Is this gonna be awful? Yes. You can. It smells really strong. Okay, it's not that bad when you put loads of water in it. It's actually okay. I can handle this for the benefits of the health. Yeah. I would put lemon in it if I had lemon. We don't have lemon. What? No, I mean like like fresh, like an actual lemon. lemon. Jeff. 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 Sif. Jeff. No, Sif's like the Jeff. cleaner. Jeff. 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 So today, don't really have any plans until later on when we're going to see brand new friend, which I'm so buzzing for. If you don't know them, you should definitely check them out on Spotify because they just released their first album and it is so good. I highly recommend. Yes, let's see what happens for the rest of the day. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar is not as bad as I expected to be. Good for those health benefits. Maybe it's just not as bad as I expected to be because I put like the tiniest wee bit and literally a glass full of water, but yes. I meant to say, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I put up a poll asking about my hair, about whether I should dye it blonde again, and it was a yes. And then I said, which blonde? Should I go the blonde I used to be, or should I go like platinum blonde? And the internet said platinum blonde, but it was very close. It was like 47 to 53%, I think. But yeah, I booked my appointment, so that's happening in a week and a half. Is that right? Two weeks? Two weeks. 16th of May. 16th of May. Just over two weeks. Two, three weeks. <laughs> Math. But yes, 2019, it's not 2019. I feel like I just really zoomed in on my face. Is it? It's not very fast. Ah. Yes, that's so what's happening. We're just counting out Adam's mummy, because he's rich. You buy a PC something. <laughs> to the person who can guess how much there is. Shout out to Johnny McPoleyn. He'll be happy if I finally got a shout out. Took you long enough. Hey guys, so it's actually Monday now. Basically, yeah, I think the last clip you saw was me and Adam counting the money for my skin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think the last clip you saw was me and Adam counting the money and yeah. So that was really bad because that was like 2 p.m. But basically the rest of the day just didn't really go to plan. What happened was we went to town, put the money in the bank, came home, started to make dinner I think and then we were heading into Belfast to go to the concert and Adam started to feel kind of sick and then that just didn't happen. So we didn't end up going to the concert, which was really sucky, 
but that's like sometimes like you know like things don't really always go to plan and that's all right but I was annoyed at the time now I'm kind of like it's okay we can go to the next one but yes I was disappointed to miss it and what can you do but yes it's Monday now today I don't really have any plans it's like what time in the morning is it just after 10 it's just after 10 o'clock and all I've done is I really wanted to get up at 5 30 but I set my alarm and it just didn't happen because I want to get into a better like early morning early nights all that but I woke up at half seven which is not bad and then I had my breakfast which was a green smoothie which I didn't expect to like because it had kale in it but it was really good and then I did my kale itziness then I had a shower and then had a coffee while watching some Tory Sterling videos if you need fitness motivation go over and watch Tory 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 Sterling because I feel so inspired <laughs> and now I'm just gonna head to the post office because I have some things for Depop to send. Yeah, my camera just died, but yeah, I have stuff for Depop to send and yeah. For the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna revise and plan Ireland or something like that. But yes, we'll see. I'll catch up with you later. I'm probably just gonna continue this vlog throughout the week and see how it goes. Hello again. I'm just sitting here trying to revise and I just don't want to so I'm back on here but basically I put up a poll on my Instagram because I want to do more proper videos rather than vlogs if that makes sense and more blog posts as well and two of the biggest things that I would sort of be into are fashion and fitness while I love makeup and stuff I I'm just not the best like I don't know enough about that other people are better than me so it's not really my thing but fashion is very individual like you sort of just do your own thing so I thought that might be a good one to share and I really enjoy fashion and then fitness as well I have been into fitness since about fourth year and I've kind of been on and off on and off with it and things have changed blah, blah 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 so I thought I would share a lot of that online and yeah so I've put up a poll on Instagram and the last time I checked okay so now it's 52 48 can you see that oh by the time it focuses it flipping moves on to the next story you can hold on to it can't you yes 52 48 so it's very close so I think I might just do both because why not? And I'm gonna have loads of time because I'm gonna be off for summer and yeah. So also you'll have just seen I got my free print delivery. I am super happy with that. Oh there we go. Um, so I got 45 prints. Uh, six by four I think they were and all I had to pay was £2.50 postage which I thought was really good but I actually got a message from a girl on Instagram saying that there are companies that are better so if you do know companies are better please let me know but I'm used to going to Tesco's and printing out photos for like 50p each which is not great. I don't really know what else to say but yeah. If you have any suggestions leave them down below for videos and stuff that you want to see because I always find that very helpful and I should probably just get on with the whole revision thing because because I have to <laughs> also I completely forgot to say you saw we can't do all that money literally took us like an hour to take that money to the bank right to get to the bank and then be like oh yeah you need to take it out all these bags Literally, they've got all these new machines where you just pour all your coins in. So you didn't even need to coin it out. Useful future knowledge, but really freaking annoying at the time. Can you see it? Okay, my camera, like I am not steady enough to do this. You can't see it anymore. But it's gonna come back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Can you see it? Um, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, 
hot air balloon. <laughs> that is so cool. I've never seen a hot air balloon before. Really? I don't think so. Not in real life. But yeah, sorry for the shakiness. It's because it's really zoomed in and that's what happens when you zoom in. I am literally so... I want, Have you ever seen that thing and it's like the hot air balloon? Like there's loads of them. I can't remember what country it's in. Turkey. Is it Turkey? Yeah. It looks so cool. I'd love to do that. I'd love to go on a hot air balloon. It'd be scary like, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can see it better from here. But it's so annoying because like you can't see it as well on the camera as we can see it in real life. came to Bloody Bridge. If you live in Northern Ireland, that's just outside Newcastle and since it's such a lovely night. Even if you don't live in Northern Ireland, it's still outside Newcastle. <laughs> True, but you probably don't know where that is if you don't live outside Northern Ireland. Does that make sense? Yeah, do you know I have no idea if that made sense. But yeah, look how nice it is. So that's why we're here, for a wee dander. Hi. <laughs> Do you think Adam will fit through this? I don't think oh, so. Shot, I think <laughs> well done, he did it. Did you say I'm fat? Spot. I hope so. Tuesday all I've literally done today is revise even though it's like half one or something yes it's like 25 past one and now I feel like going for a walk but it kind of looks like it's gonna rain my dad says it's gonna rain but I don't know I've given it half an hour and it still hasn't rained so I think I might just go but later on Adam and I are heading down to Belfast because in Belfast there's this like market it's sort of like local produce local cool little things and it's usually on on a saturday morning 
I think it's only a Saturday morning. It's called St George's Market, I don't think I've said that. But yeah, like once in a while they sort of do this thing called Twilight Market. So it's basically on a couple of evenings a week. And this one is Nashville themed. We've been to one before, it was a Christmas one. Um, so we're gonna head down to that tonight because that should be fun. I'm kind of scared because they're usually quite busy and that's a hassle but like they're only here once in a while like we can go for an hour see what's happening and yeah like it's really interesting so we're gonna head to that but right now I am gonna go for a walk so see you in a bit one of my like absolute favorite things about walking around this park is that everyone is so friendly <laughs> like it's very rare you'll walk past someone and like they won't say hello like <laughs> And if they don't, then they're probably not local because it's usually like everybody in this area like just always says hello when you walk past and it's just so nice. I realise how bad my last clip probably sounded. I just want to clarify, I wasn't saying everybody who's not from around here is unfriendly. I was just saying that everybody who is from around here usually says hello. So if they're not, maybe they're not used to that and they don't say hello. I wasn't saying that just because they're not from here means they're unfriendly. But anyway, yeah, I was wrong. It started raining. Not that bad. But anyway, I'm on my way home now. Basically, I just sort of took it slow because, yeah, people came along and I had to quickly shove my camera away because I got embarrassed. But basically, I was saying I'm just kind of taking it slow today. I just sort of wanted out of the house to go for a walk because I didn't really like doing too much, especially if I've already done a workout that day. Oh my goodness, a squirrel! <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm just sort of walking, like taking quite slow and easy and yeah. I'm just gonna end the vlog here as Adam eats his crisps and yeah because I don't think there's gonna be much else. Look how like ghostly we are. Well I am anyway. Yeah so I'm just gonna end the vlog here and um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did make sure he's he's obsessed with this band and apparently he can't speak tonight. Uh, oh. it's gone. Um, if you enjoyed make sure to head down and hit the like button and the subscribe button as well and yeah. Hi Johnny. Hi Johnny. Yes, Nicola. And Nicola. Who's that guy? I don't know, but it's gonna put your way along. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye. Get out of my face.
Thank you.